Yo, what's going on people? Let's retro and today as promised my video on me defeating 10 jumps is fine is is here It's here. So, um, thank you so much for 10 likes and I hope you enjoy the video So I'm here with my great friend boss the Parkour God Just kidding. I am I beat this we are going to be going jump to jump on how to beat this Tiny yet tedious parkour. Now, before I start, I just want to give huge shout outs to Cheese slash Spicy slash Pop Bob for this awesome parkour. Obviously, it's made me frustrated several times, but overall, it's a great parkour. No ladders, um, no silica, no rubber, just a nice classic parkour. Also, props to Ark for giving me temp cap so I can make this video possible. So yeah, so we're gonna start off with this first jump. Obviously it's the first jump, but it's also pretty difficult. Now I apologize if I don't get it first try because with um, with um, with this, uh, I'm recording on a laptop, right? So you can't blame me. Uh, I'm making a vid on how to beat, don't worry. All right, so we're gonna start off with this first jump. All right, we're gonna go roughly 50 to 60 percent up the ramp and so roughly 85 percent at the top of the ramp like as you see right here it's this new thing on the ramp you won't move right you'll just stand there like that so right so if we sl we need to find a spot where we slide down right and then jump sorry that's a yeah with this lag is really difficult but we just want to press w and hold space at the same time uh that was close Right, and eh, there we go, just like that. Now, you may be thinking like, oh, second jump is a saber tooth? This is garbage. I can't believe you spent time defeating this. Don't worry, there's a way to cheese it. And I don't know if Spicy did this on purpose, but uh, thank goodness for it. So um, you have to stand here, right? So if it was like this, you would do a classic saber tooth jump. Even maybe that would be one for, I don't know. So, um... We're gonna go here, right? And then we're gonna jump, nick the end of the block, and come here, right? So it's kind of like a jump motion, and then you hit W, right? And then on this next ramp, we're gonna do a classic 60% up the ramp, jump, and back and forth. Now this one took me a while. I got so frustrated on this jump because everyone was nailing it first try and I wasn't. But you kind of just wanna wait a bit and then hold A and spacebar, so eh. So that time I did it too early and I hit my head on the ramp. But if you do it too late, you won't be able to make the jump and you'll just fall like I did right there. So boom. And then we'll make it up here. Now this jump here is my is like, oh my god, it frustrated me. This was my least favorite jump of the entire parkour. As simple as it looks, you just fall and go there. It was not easy. I'll do a practice example of what most people would do. And this is what I did until I found a strategy on how to beat it. You'd go like this and go like that. Boom. And roughly 2% of the time you'd make it. And then you'd have to restart. Oh, boss is making fun of me. I'm making, making an example of what not to do. Right guys? That's not what not to do. But here, is the right way to do it and it took me so long and it's a it's a tiny difference but it makes the world of a difference on uh, the chances of defeating this jump so right now I'm standing standing on the flat of the block and just like when we're on the top when we're on the corner top corner of the ramp top 85% of the ramp we do not move you don't slide down or anything it's the new update in the game you want to nick the end of the block just like so maybe you want to go a bit oh, okay if I, if I messed that up we want to keep this as clean as we can we i messed that up so we're gonna go we're gonna go right like that all right and then we're gonna go right on the corner right just like that it's incredible how i'm still on this block and if you look at my legs i'm literally just under the line of the block and it makes you think like how could that make such a big difference for this jump literally it does boom you know what, with this lag, it looks like I'm pathetic, but like, I'm, again, I'm recording on a laptop using a recording thing called the OBS. And so we're gonna go in the corner again and fall. You know what, I'm terrible at this, but if you guys play, and if I play um, without lag, without recording, go on this corner. 
right? Go in this corner, fall, and boom. Shit, you know what? I, I mean, shoot. Shoot. We're, I'm going to give it one more try. We, we want to go right on the corner, right? Right on the corner, and boom. You guys got to trust me on this. You got to turn angles right around here, all right? So this next jump's pretty straightforward. There's a ramp above you, so you don't, and like on the end of the ramp, we want to just hold space and hold W. Pretty average jump there. So right here, another jump where we have to go 55 to 60% up the ramp and send it. All right, and if we don't make it, you don't want to overshoot it or else you'll fall. But if you undershoot, like, but if you undershoot it and you don't make it, you can go right back on the ramp. So it's better to go roughly 50 to 55% up this ramp and make this jump. See right there, I overshot it and it's hard to recover from that and then you'll have to restart. All right, so we're going to give it one more try here. Boom, that's it. That's it right there. All right, same jump here, only easier, right? Just like over here, right beside the sign that reads Pit of Gainus, we're going to wait a bit. And yeah, you definitely don't want to um, go early on that one. You definitely want to go late because if you go too late, you won't make the jump, but you can go right back. If you over, if you go too early, that's what will happen and you'll fall to your doom and you'll have to restart. And this is what usually the response of people is when they fall, including myself. That's an example of getting mad. All right, boss says to just show the last jump, he can suck my nuts. Just kidding, just kidding. He wants to suck my lollipop. Keep this as clean as possible. All right, so we're going to go like that. And boom. Just like wait a, like 0 0.4, 0 0.3 seconds, and then shoot up. Maybe 0 0.5, something like that. This one's an average uh, ramp jump, only we got the wall beside us to support us. So we wait roughly 70% to 75% up the jump, boom. All right, this is kind of similar. This jump here is similar to, to a tooth jump where we're going to use the ramp to our advantage to accelerate and boost ourselves. Only the ramp, the tooth jump, the classic tooth jump you all know and love, um, you go up starting at 0% and go up to 20% and boom. All right, but for this one, we're going to go up to let's say 50% up there, or maybe 60, 50 is at 60% up the ramp, and uh, we're going to go hook. Boom, just like that. Oh, that was so close. If I got that first try with lag, that would have been sick. But that's what you want to do, right? You, you want to kind of start on the bottom, all right? We're going to start on the bottom. And we're going to hook. Boom, that's it. Oh, yeah, you got you to gotta be kidding me right there. You see that? You see that? All right. We'll, get, we'll give it one more shot here. Go all the way to bottom. Boom. And so if we go up over 65% up the ramp, so like roughly right here, we'll hit our head here and... If you nick your head on this ramp up here, you will fall 100%. You cannot make this jump if you hit your head on the ramp. All right, so that's why we got to cut it, cut it short. And boom, hit my head, not making the jump. Now, boss is, seems to be impatient of me showing this last jump. This last jump triggered me so hard. So when I got here for the first time, I was like, okay, last jump. This looks hard, right? Uh, I believe never seen made this jump. Props to him. I saw it on AutoCorp for the first time. And uh, there's several ways you can do this jump. So you can light jump, kind of hit your head right about here, and zoom across. Um, hey, one sec, bruh. All right, so, but the way that I do it is very, very complex. So I'm going to put my hover pack on. I'm going to jump right on the edge of this block, right? And I'm going to... Jump like this, up, bonk my head roughly 60% up this left ramp, and hold D. And this technique, for me, works a lot of the time. Just like that, only just like the jump that I just showed right there, if you hit your head on this ramp, you have a 100% chance of not making the jump. Just like that, but I held D too early. All right, we're gonna try this again. I really want to make this on vid. Oh, okay. Well, I just sucked, sucked wee wee there. I mean, not sucked wee wee, sucked lollipop. Eh, and I did not even jump there. So, yeah. So this was my. Uh, I believe I got it. My so when I got here for like eight to tenth attempt, and then I finally got this jump, claimed the sixteen flux, and 
Sally sent the link to everyone. Oh, I beat it. But uh, I really want to show you guys how to do this jump here. Boom. Oh, let's go. Uh, it showed that I nicked my head there, but that's just lag. And uh, that's how you do the jump right there. So you want to jump up, bonk your head roughly 60% up the ramp, and hold D. Um, what I did is that I practiced over and over roughly 200, 250 times on test, just practicing and mastering that jump. So uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much for hitting the like button on the last video so this video was possible. Thank you so much to Pop Bob for making uh, this uh, this uh, awesome parkour. Uh, people who finish, nobody because you all suck. What? Hello? Retro. Um, what can I say that will make people laugh? Retro. Who is pretty sweet. Hell yeah. I can edit the MTD. One stack of flux to Oh, and a hundred. Oh, let's go. Okay, I'll shut up. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. Catch you next time. Bye bye.